This is part three of a video that I'm doing exposing the Kabbalah, mystery religions, their concept of God. And um, I'm showing and attempting to show, so far I think I've done a pretty good job, of showing that the uh, mysteries, the mystery schools, uh, the Kabbalah, what, whenever they're talking about using that word God, they're, they're not referring to what you or, you know, the guy down the block from me who goes to church refer to as God. God might as well not even be God, and I pointed out that Kabbalist rabbis and even some uh, people involved with the Aleister Crowley's uh, secret society refer to themselves as atheists, because the God to them is a more of a force, and I explain that like a dualistic uh, force from, well, Star Wars can be used for good or evil, and, and, a, and that would only make, according to them, uh, the only God would be the would then be you know man or the illumined man. But anyways, this is uh, taken from Crawley's book Magic and Theory and Practice, and he says something pretty interesting on page one fifty two to one fifty three. It starts at the bottom of one fifty two. Anyways, quote: For the gods are the enemies of man. It is nature that man must overcome ere he enter into his kingdom. The true God is man. And that part he highlights. The true God, my, where my middle finger is, is man. So he highlights that, you know, so he's placing importance, he's making it clear. The true God is man. In man are all things hidden. Of these, the gods, nature, time, all the powers of the universe, are rebellious slaves. It is these that men must fight and conquer, in the power and the name of the beast that hath availed them. The titan, the magus, the man whose number is 600 to three score and six. And that's something that Bill Cooper did have right, were these uh, adepts, that's what they believe, that uh, through the use of their enlightened intellect, Man will conquer the earth, will conquer nature, and will themselves become God. The true God is man. And there is uh, another one. A few more of them. Uh, page 193, too, where he talks about... I think it's where he talks about the devil not being... devil not existing. And he says this on page 193. Quote, The devil does not exist. It is a false name invented by the Black Brothers to imply a unity in their ignorant muddle of dispersions. And he goes down. And this, he's got a footnote down here. The devil is, historically, the god of any people that one personally dislikes. This has led to so much confusion of thought that the beast 666 has preferred to let names stand as they are and to proclaim simply that Iwas, or Awas, that so supposed holy guardian angel that Crowley invoked, the solar phallic hermetic Lucifer is his own holy guardian angel, and the devil, Satan, or hated of our particular unit of the starry universe. This serpent, Satan, is not the enemy of man, but he who made gods of our race, knowing good and evil. He bade know thyself, and taught initiation. He is the devil of the book of Thoth, and his emblem is Baphomet, the androgen, who is the hieroglyph of arcane perfection. The number of his ATU is 15, which is the hieroglyph of, well, sorry, which is yod he the monogram of the eternal, the father one with the mother, the virgin seed one with all the containing space. He is therefore life and love, but moreover, his letter is Agin, that's spelled A-Y-I-N, Agin, the I. He is light, and his zodiacal image is Capricornus, that leaping goat whose attribute is liberty. So, 
And Crowley also said, again, he stresses it, there is no God but man. So, they mean it. Oh yeah, and by the way, in this book here, he does talk about sacrifice. It's not, it's a very difficult book to understand with all the esoteric language in it. But there's a chapter where he kind of started delving into some pretty sick stuff. I don't get too much into Crawley because it just, it's uh, sick, some of his stuff. But that book, a lot, a lot of it, there's just a section in here where he's talking about human sacrifice. There is a quote from, I'm trying to think of what book it is. I think it's from Mystic Oriental Masonry. Should have got this out. This is by the Beverly Hall Fraternity. And I just wanted to get that. Um, he said in here that humanity in total is the true God. Okay, he's, he's quoting from another Masonic source that he's making it clear that he agrees with them. He's in agreement with them. But it's on page 11 of Mystic Oriental Masonry, and he's quoting, he's citing uh, Brother Buck, is what he calls him. I think maybe it's Raymond Buck, another Masonic author. Anyways, quote, Humanity in toto is the only personal God. The Christos is the realization or perfection of this divine persona, an individual conscious experience. So, you know, their version of God is just something. It's more of the humanistic view. And, um, yeah, so I just wanted to make that video, make this video here to show finished showing all the evidence that mysteries actually don't believe in God. They believe themselves to be God once they become illumined. Take care.